Hi guys, what the freak is up? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, let's talk about Big Bang possibly disbanding. Stray Kids albums being found in trash cans, G Idol Shuhua facing attitude scandal, and EXO CBX requesting investigation on all SM artists' contracts. A lot of drama is going on in this K pop world, so let's get into the video to see what the hell is going on. Let's begin this video with many netizens wondering if Big Bang band disbanded. As you guys know recently T.O.P have revealed he have left Big Bang to continue his solo career. However, there was no official notice from YG Entertainment, although he left back in 2022. Now fans have found a list of YG Entertainment's artists as of March 2023. The list of singers contains Akmu, Blackpink, Winner, Treasure, Jinu and Seskis. None of the remaining Big Bang members nor the group is included in the list, which caused many fans to wonder if they disbanded and if they did, why YG Entertainment haven't informed anyone about it, just like they didn't with T.O.P. I decided to check YG Entertainment's official website. On their official website, only Big Bang, GD, X, Taeyang and G Dragon are included. However, it is unknown when last time they have updated the list of their artists. The least netizens have found is from the end of March 2023 and G-Dragon being the only Big Bang member who has signed up with YG is not included in the list at all, which can mean he have also left YG Entertainment. Many fans are now wondering what will happen with Big Bang as only three members have stayed in the group. This is how Korean netizens have reacted. Why isn't Big Bang or GD there? They terminated their contract with YG? Big Bang disbanded? There are no members there. Where is GD? Did he leave YG? There is no GD's name among YG singers. With T.O.P leaving and Taeyang focusing on his solo career, many fans are now wondering what is the future of Big Bang. But let me guys know what do you think about it. Moving on, let's talk about Stray Kids albums being found in trash cans. As you guys know, Stray Kids has sold ever since release. According to Han Tao, over 2.7 million albums and has reached pre-order of 5 million. Although it is a great achievement, many Korean and international netizens had negative opinions as many thought it's just the effect of mass buying where majority of the albums will end up being thrown away. Recently, this photo went viral on social media where you can see hundreds of Stray Kids albums being simply thrown away which angered many netizens. Many have voiced their anger as they believe these albums could have been simply given away to fans who simply cannot afford to buy the albums, as well as they believe they don't respect the artist's hard work on this album. Others have pointed out how bad for the environment throwing albums is actually in general, commenting. Wow, this is genuinely so, so sad to see. All of that hard work just done behind a plant? Not to mention how wasteful this is and how disrespectful to the artist. I'm not a stay, but this photo is upsetting to look at when I think of all the boys' hard work put into this album and also of all the stays who couldn't afford the album when those wasters who bought and Chuck Kulve just don't a damn giveaway. What a waste. Honestly, I feel bad for the artists who put so much into making an album. The fans Kulve just given this away to people who could buy an album. Moving on, let's talk about G Idol's Shuhua facing lots of criticism after appearing on a YouTube show MMTG. The host JJ is a big fan of G Idol. When they began to talk about Han, she asked Shuhua if she was excited to have solo dance part in the song, to which she replied she actually felt pressured by it. Just this response was enough for Korean netizens to criticize Shuhua as she used informal language. JJ was surprised to hear her reply in informal manner and jokingly asked her what happened to being polite. Other G Idol members were also taken aback and Yuki said, you're being so informal suddenly. JJ then showed some photos from Shuhua's time in school and questioned 
why there were allegations that she wasn't popular back then, despite being so attractive. Still, speaking informally, Shuhua replied that she was popular, but she didn't care for it. Next, JJ showed a photo Shuhua uploaded after eating spicy food and asked her why she decided to post the photo and she replied with, what do you want me to do, making everyone laugh. Then the host said she heard Shuhua wanted to try acting in teen movies such as Twilight and asked her to make facial expressions associated with the movies she will come up with, to which Shuhua replied with, I don't like these type of requests. After the episode aired, many netizens criticized Shuhua Hua for her behavior towards the host, who is 10 years older than her. The issue soon spread to online platforms where many Korean netizens had mixed opinions about the issue. On one side, people felt that Shuhua was being rude to the host and praised JJ for handling the situation well. On the other hand, some defended Shuhua, saying that her lack of Korean speaking skills could have caused the situation, with many doubting this explanation, pointing out how other members in G-Idol used honorifics in their response commenting. JJ has such great manners. I am impressed by how she handles moments that could potentially turn really awkward. I had a lot of fun watching. Expect when Shuhua was being rude, it made me cringe hard. Never had this problem with Nini on Chui though. So it's not about Shuhua being Chinese, it's that she, as a person, is being problematic. But let me guys know what do you think about it. Moving on, let's talk about SM Entertainment as they are at risk of possibly losing some of their artists. The three EXO members Chen, Kyumin and Baekhyun have requested that all SM Entertainment's artist contracts to be examined in a new statement released by their lawyer. Recently, the lawyer revealed that he had made an official complaint to Korea's Free Trade Commission about SM Entertainment's practices as despite their orders back in 2007 and 2011, SM Entertainment have ignored them and continued to make unfair contracts. The Free Trade Commission is the governing body in Korea that protects free markets and competition in the markets within the country. Then, he revealed they have requested a full investigation for all SM Entertainment's artist contracts. Then Lee Jae Hak claimed that the Fair Trade Commission had judged SM activities unfair, including making the contract start date, the group's debut date, and making its contracts much less favorable for its artists in comparison to industry standards. As for the contract, the time artists have spent as a trainees is being added to the contract, so the contract was extended for three years. And if you consider the time spent in the military, the contracts are 12, 13 years long in practice. The label pushed its artists to sign another extension in the last year of their contract, which resulted in the artists signing with the label for about 17 to 18 years. In EXO's CBX statement, the members hope for their courage and efforts will ensure the rights of other SM artists are protected and that they make a small contribution to a healthy change in the industry. SM has responded to the member's request to see accounting documents saying the documents reveal private information about other members and after discussion they said that they will let the EXO members see the documents only if SM can verify it's gonna be used only by these three members and their legal representative to review it and won't be used for any other reason. They have also revealed the three EXO members have asked for the other members' permission. But let me guys know what do you think about it down in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel and turn notifications on for more. That is it for today. Bye!